Hello and welcome back to One Train vs. The World Season 6. When we last left our protagonist, she had defeated the dreaded 7th gym. Or at least I sure dreaded it. And now she needs to train a Pokémon up to exactly level 42, so that she will be able to get something awesome on the next route. Right, I now have a Pokémon at exactly level 42. With that being the case, I can now go and catch a thing on the route beyond Humilao City! Right, now, activate the repel, because I need the repel in order for this to work. I only have one? Seriously? Oh right, I used basically all of them while searching for dust clouds, so that I would be able to find those shards. And here we finally have the Pokémon I have been waiting for! For quite a long time. And I looked up what moves it will have at this level. It only has fighting moves and bug moves. <coughs> Meaning that Carl will be able to tank its hits fantastically. Don't tell me this is going to make it good. For a second I was worried that that would just make it leave the battle outright. And if it did, then that would suck so freaking much. I think there's roughly a 50% chance of me catching it with these. So... I mean, I could have also just thrown a quick ball on the first turn. But, you know, I had a Dark Steel type out. Any sort of fighting move would have been devastating. And possibly killed poor Das Bones. Stay in the ball. Thank you! Okay, apparently one of the inspirations for this thing is, um, is the Japanese mythical beast Kamaitachi, um, Kamaitachi. And I remember there was a character in One Piece who had that nickname. His name was Cavendish. I mean, he was a dude. However, I can think of another character who is also named Cavendish. That being... <laughs> Diana from Little Witch Academia. Therefore... Due to, that, due to that somewhat stretch, although it's not quite as much of a stretch as Picard, I suppose, your name is Diana. And you know what? I think she is just joining my party immediately. Right. Ah, oh, modest nature. That's garbage. Oh well. At least I'm pretty sure it still has really high attack, so... It won't completely ruin it, it's just going to cripple it somewhat. But, meh. Still using it, because a fighting type is going to be very, very helpful in the near future. I mean, it has a base 125 attack. Even with that attack lowering nature, she is still going to hit like a truck. Right, it might not have come across this way to everyone watching this, but man, that grinding took forever! Also, it's occurred to me that, you know, the name Diana actually works on a much more logical no note than what I actually just got it from. I mean, rather than saying that it's a reference to uh, Kamaitachi, which, is in ter which in turn led me think of Cavendish from One Piece, mm, Piece which in turn made me think of, mm, of Diana Cavendish from Little Witch Academia, you could just say it's a reference to Wonder Woman. 
which actually makes more sense in the first place. But, meh. Who, who cares about making sense anyway? That said, I am now at level 50, so it's time to take on the final gym. Although I think I have to actually find the gym leader first, but meh. Also, you might notice looking at the team portraits that a certain old companion of ours has returned. Dude! The, the kind of mediocre grass type. I mean, I'm going up against the water type gym, so... Obviously, having another grass type just seemed like a good idea, especially seeing how I believe this guy's ace is going to have a ghost move, which would mean that Francis isn't really all that great. It appears I have to do other things, in which case I'll want to be careful. Wait a minute, I haven't caught something in this area yet, have I? Not that it matters, because that is a frillish, which is a thing that I already have. But still, just gonna double check that I'm actually still in... I'm now on route 21. Have I caught something on Route 21? I don't think I have? I have not. So, if I find something useful here, I am going to catch it. Nope. Now I only have one more try to get something. No, I don't need any more battles. I am already at level 50. I shouldn't get any higher. I should have taken this into account before I level grinded, but I didn't. Because I guess I'm just kind of dumb that way. Right, am I getting something? No, I'm not. So, this route is a bust. How lame. Oh, for goodness sake! Is it that much to, do to ask that I don't have to fight all these people? I don't need to fight you! I'm pretty sure that fighting you is not going to be advantageous to me in any way! And this thing is pretty much guaranteed to use a bug move on me now. Of course! I have a flying poison type who will be very much resistant to that sort of thing. Yep, bug move. Yep, have a look at that devastating damage. Now, I'm pretty sure that the gym leader is going to be in this cave somewhere. And I already, I already got bat, bat candy in here, so I'm not going to get anything else. Am I completely mistaken about this? Am I actually not supposed to be here? Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Hmm. Well, you just popped in right out of nowhere. So, it's like, you must be here to like, challenge the Pokemon gym. I'm like, the gym leader Marlon. Started to like, make me look for me, brah. I was, I was swimming with the Pokemon and it felt real good. So I kept going and going. I'll be waiting in the gym, okay? Right. With that, I can go and face the gym. But first, what is in this house? Another move tutor. So, what sort of moves do you teach then? A few potentially useful things maybe, but I'll have to consider that for later, maybe.
right, we have reached the Doom Leader, so... Francis is ever so slightly damaged, but I don't think that's really going to matter all that much. Sup? You already, huh? You like you look like strong. Dude, let's like start. I am bad at doing a sit in a surfer dude kind of voice. Like just even just listening to myself, I feel like man, that is a terrible surfer dude voice I am doing. I should be ashamed of myself! Now then, dude. Use an energy ball and probably take out this- Oh wait, I can't take it out in one hit. It's got sturdy. In which case... While he heals up, use a leech seed! And now, I can take it out in one more hit with an energy ball. It's a bit of a shame that the, mm, that the Leech Seed doesn't carry over to the next opponent, but... Mm, I mean, I suppose that's a bit too much to ask for. Waylord. I don't think it has any ice moves, so... Pretty sure I looked up that and just saw that only in challenge mode does this guy have any ice moves. In regular, I'm pretty sure he has a flying move instead. That's bothersome in and of itself though. Hmm. Hang on. Just gotta double check here. Okay, Francis is a safe switch in. Although I think that this thing also has a dark move of some kind, so... It's probably not good to keep Francis in. But he should be able to tank this hit. And now you no longer have wa Water Veil. Not that I actually know what Water Veil does, but you don't have it anymore. Switching over to Carl just to see what it does. Again, I think it has a dark move. Amnesia. Wonderful. Hmm. Just going to give Francis a fresh water. Of course you have that. Why would you not have that? Of course Carl has to get out of there right now. Why wouldn't he have to get out of there right now? Now, dude will resist that if he does the same thing again. And then I can Leech Seed it. Instead it used Amnesia. Which actually means that Leech Seed is probably an even better idea because, you know... It's going to be very hard to hit this thing for any amount of damage at all now. And then it bounced again. But now, I think with that I can conclude that it doesn't have a dark type move or, a, or anything of the sort. It was probably just a Caracosta that had that. So, with that being the case, I suppose I could have Francis burn it as well. Or not. But then, on this turn, I could have Francis burn it as well. Oh, come on! This is taking a while. There you go, the thing has been burned as well. And now I can actually attack it, though I reckon my attacks will do basically nothing. And it's entirely possible that Marlon's going to heal up at this on this very turn. He didn't though. So... Wait, will the Leech Seed plus the Burn kill it on this turn? 
Oh, so close. How ever? He can't heal up right now. Meaning that it doesn't really matter because after this, he is going to die anyway. Well, let's see now. Do I need to heal someone up? I do not need to heal someone by which I mean dude up. So, in that case, I'll just waste a move. Because it doesn't matter what I do right now. Because this battle is... Alright. Well, I suppose I did actually get to land the finishing blow and deal a completely pointless critical hit. So how does it feel, Waylord? Being defeated without even being attacked? Right. Now, dude, get back in there and finish this. Because I'm pretty sure that Francis is slower than this Jellicent. And, yeah, ominous wind. That's not good for him. Shadow Ball! Oh. Wait a minute, why would I even use Shadow Ball? Just... I mean... That was kind of terrifying, but... Energy Ball does more damage, stupid me, because that has a stab. And since I am now concerned about this thing, I'm going to... I'm going to Leech Seed it first. I mean, at any point now it could get one, it could get a massive stat buff. I don't want it to get a massive stat buff, however. Then again, Ominous Wind doesn't have that many power points, so I reckon it's going to run out before long. So now it just becomes a battle of waiting. Ugh. And it has to recover. In that case, I think it's also a good idea for me to stun it. So that it might be so that it might not be able to do stuff. Now, be fully paralyzed. Excellent. Now, as soon as I finish draining health from you, have an energy ball to the face. For a moment I thought that was a critical hit or something, but that wasn't a critical hit or something. Right, it's not getting the stat buffs, which is nice. Energy ball! And this battle is over! That was decidedly less stressful than the previous gym battle. <laughs> you totally rock that. You're rising some wicked Pokemon. You got this trainer thing like down. Yo, bruh. You don't just look strong. You're, you're strong for reals. <laughs> I was swept away too. Oh yeah. Yo. I was so, I'm so surprised. I forgot. I gotta give this to you. Please stop talking. I don't feel like I'm doing a good job voicing you, so just don't make me voice you anymore. Blah blah blah. I have all eight gym badges, which is awesome. I got Scald, which is also awesome. <laughs> yeah, I clearly, I clearly, I'm using the right voice though. So Scald sometimes burns targets. Okay. Well, and he just jumped in the ocean. With that, I suppose it's time for me to leave the gym and do other things. Such as deal with Team Plasma, I guess. Which could actually still be a bit terrifying. You got all of the badges! You're really something! Usually you'd go to the Pokémon League now, but... Dealing with Team Plasma comes first. However, dealing with this gym was certainly more important than that on the other hand. Sup, yo. Who's this Team Plasma you're talking about, though? Team Plasma does things like steal my sisters, I mean, people's Pokemon. They plan on conquering New Nova by using Pokemon to freeze it solid. They're really evil. Have you heard of them, Marlon? Nope. When the ocean's your home, you don't have to worry about things like that, bruh. Because the ocean accepts all rivers, dude. So you think Team Plasma's bad, then? Well, kinda. I get it, they're bad, so you fight them. 
first you gotta say that in your own words, man. When you do, you'll understand better what you want to do and what you're hoping for. Well then... Man, I don't know if that guy is laid back or just irresponsible. That kinda got me down, but our opponent is Team Plasma. We have to focus, but before that, we have to find out where they are. Okay, we'll split up. You check Route 22, got it? Actually, though, I just, hmm. I had I had heard that Scald was supposed to be better than Surf, but in but apparently that is not in this generation, because I don't think that losing 15 damage points is worth the burn chance, really. You know what? Since I actually got permission to do this. I am going to go and catch myself a thing that, strictly speaking, I've already caught before. But, I get... well, just... Basically, the thing is, like I've mentioned before, Caroblast, in order to evolve, needs to be in the party at the same time as a Shelmet. But of course, my Shelmet evolved without Caroblast doing so at the same time. However... Had I been playing this on a legit cartridge and evolved them the proper way via trading, they both would have evolved. And I really had no way of knowing that it was going to turn out the way it did. So... I specifically talked to the guy who arranged this event and that does give me permission to just... catch another helmet so that I can actually evolve Carablast. Meaning that all of my ag all of my agonizing about how about how the gym was basically impossible because I couldn't possibly get an Escavalier was kind of pointless. Because Escavalier was actually available to me all along. So then Get in my party so that I can use you in order to evolve something else. There you go, and with that, I'll just have to attach an uh, experience share to Piccolo and evolve him. Or, actually I could do it with just a rare candy too. So... Right. I'm pretty sure I actually have two rare candies at the moment, so I can just give Theo one, and... Indeed. Though it appears that once again I just messed up who was who with that thing with these two characters. Because I seem to recall I just accidentally referred to her as Piccolo. While Piccolo was the one who did evolve. I am terrible at recognizing who is who of these two. Then again, their evolutions are specifically designed to resemble each other. So... It kind of makes sense that I keep getting them mixed up. Now then, with that out of the way, I suppose it's time to just free this thing that is that is named Free Me. And now I can continue with the story and search. This PC box is kind of a mess. I should rearrange stuff in the PC box so that it's less of a mess. And just... Make it so that all the things I will actually use are on the bottom row, for example. And now... I can go and actually go after Team Plasma and search! He told me to go to Route 22, right? Of course, I'm not sure why I'm listening to what Zmursky is saying, being that he is an asshat and everything, but... I guess I'm listening to what he is saying. But I'm still going to try and avoid trainer battles, if possible. Because... We're kind of at the point in the game where trainer battles are now kind of terrifying. Well, would you look at that? It's a legendary Pokemon! So what's its typing again? I think it's ground fighting, but I'm not entirely sure, so... It's rock fighting! Well then, in that case, I think I know a thing! that would be able to deal with it very efficiently. 
And that thing is basically Wonder Woman. Even though that was not what um, even though that was not what she was named after, but it's been a long time. Drakion is one of the three Pokemon who protected um, who protected Pokemon from the flames of a human conflict. It seems likely that Tra Drakion has picked up the sense of danger that emanates from Team Plasma. It's probably seeking a Pokemon trainer who has the strength to stand up to them. It's very interesting indeed that Terrakion appeared before you. That aside, do you plan to confront Team Plasma? I see. If that's the case, you must have the power to protect your own Pokémon. Being protected by Pokémon alone doesn't make you a trainer. It's because trainers are strong because they care about the and care about their Pokémon. That these Pokémon can also be strong. Here, this is from me. This is a pro. This is a prototype of my mm, device that energizes Pokémon. It doesn't work on battling Pokémon, but you may find it useful for something. Well then, I wish you and your Pokémon a safe journey. Now that I think about it, in the seaside cave of Route 21, I saw something that reminded me of when we met on Route 4. Well, that's fascinating, but I have a legendary Pokémon to battle! And when I say battle, what I really mean is kill in one hit. hit. Because muhahaha. Now. I have looked up the encounters for this particular area and found that I don't think I want stuff in this cave. I want to wait to get stuff in other parts of this of this particular route. How long does wait until everyone else arrives mean exactly? The area past here is important. The people heading to route 21 are definitely important, but we have an important role as well. All right then. I mean, I already knew that Route 21 was where I was, where I was ultimately supposed to go, because I looked stuff up. But, but with that, I'm pretty sure I can now actually go to Route 21. Can I have ice beams, please? Seriously, that battle would have been so much easier if I had ice beam and didn't have to worry about whether or not I could even land a freaking blizzard. <sighs> There is a cave opening, and in front of it, there is a thing that I need to use the colorist machine on. I wonder what this means. Now, rock bug. I don't believe there are any types that are mm, that are super effective on both rock and bug, but a surf should probably take it out. Picard is not exactly known for not hitting hard. Double negatives, yo. Oh, bugger. Okay, that was a critical hit. Just still concerning, but not insurmountably terrifying.
And with that, the machine immediately broke. What an extremely useful invention, Colrus! Clearly I am clearly I am going to have so much use for this thing. I mean, it was useful in this one instance, because apparently pushing that crustal out of the way wasn't an option. Now beyond here, I have a feeling that we will find something of great importance. Why? Is that something of great importance? I never would have guessed. You found them! I knew you could do it! But how do we get in? Hold up! No idea who that was, but... Ah, uh, this should do it. I thought you weren't going to fight Team Plasma! <laughs> Bruh, Team Plasma's not bothering me. They could be up to new go good for reals and... It's not my style to go around pretend and deciding Team Plasma's bad without thinking about it, just because everyone says so. But, eh, you're having trouble, so I gotta help out, brah. That's what I wanna do. Thanks. Listen, Kay, believe in something. Searching for stolen Pokemon is fine. Keeping you over from being iced over is fine, too. It's all good. But think about why you're doing that. The strength of your beliefs is what gives you and your Pokemon power. I made some noise, so some people came out. Hey, be careful, okay? What was that? The guy sure doesn't follow through. Well, I guess he was being kind in his own way. Alright, I'm going in. What horrors await Vega inside the Plasma Free Gate? Find out. Next time.